welcome back today we are going to be running the rc running motor and esc i picked up off of amazon and my traxxas stampede this is going to be the first run of it on video this is just going to be a short video because it's kind of cold out here and a little bit windy but i wanted to get a running video out to you guys so let's go ahead and see how this works i'll tell you right now that has got a lot more power and if you follow my channel, whoa, this thing's actually kind of hard to control. If you follow my channel, you know I bought a R, uh, RC Harlance or R Charlance motor for my uh, Arma Granite. And one thing I can tell you a difference right now, that had a huge delay in it when you pulled the trigger from the time it took off. I bought a program card and it helped it a little bit, but it's still there. This RC running ESC, as soon as you hit that trigger, it's instant. It don't have a delay like that other one. I am really happy about that. The one thing I can notice right now, though, running it just this couple of seconds, this thing has got tons of low-end torque. And this one is a 3500 kV motor. I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to have to get a program card out. And I'm going to have to reset the punch on this. Because if you floor it, it's hard to control. Even at half throttle, this thing's got a ton of power. I left the stock gearing and it's the stock spur gear with an 18 tooth uh, fitting. Man, this thing is hard to control now. It's got so much power. It just wants to kick it sideways. That's kind of fun. I'm pretty sure if I got in the grass, this thing will just want to do wheelies all day long. Man, that thing's fast. Let's get in the grass here. Yep. Try to get turned around here. Yep, in the grass as soon as it gets traction. It just wants to do wheelies. That is pretty slick. I would never even be able to dream to do that with the uh, brush motor that was in this. Actually, I might. I might have to do a tire upgrade on this. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We can rip some good donuts here. That's pretty sweet. I couldn't do any donuts with the other motor. All right. I don't know. I might do a tire upgrade on this. I don't know yet. But man, this ain't all it wants to do is wheelies. Definitely need uh, use of that wheelie bar now. Man, this thing's fun, but it's hard to control. I'm definitely going to have to get used to this. Man, this thing just wants to keep lifting the front tires off the ground. This ain't never had that much power before. Man, that's fast. And this was a pretty decent price too on Amazon. As you guys know, if you follow my channel, I love Amazon. I get a lot of stuff off of Amazon. And my uh, last two uh, ESCs and motors came from there. I'm running this with a 5,000 milliamp hour Wamfi battery, 2S LiPo. They say they're rated for 3S. I don't have no 3S batteries for either one of my brushless vehicles. I don't know if I would want to push them or not. They say they're rated for it. I'm happy with my 2S. I can barely control it with my 2S. This thing's pretty awesome. Well, I just wanted to get a short video of you guys seeing this thing run. It's kind of windy out here and I don't have a microphone. So we'll bring you back up here real quick. And I'll tell you right now, the fan on it pushes a lot. I think uh, next video you're going to see this in, I'm going to go ahead and put the program card on it and make some adjustments on it. I'm actually going to try to take the punch out of it a little bit at the beginning. 
because it just wants to spin the tires like that. And uh, I think that might be the only thing I'm going to mess with on it. But as of right now, I am liking this one better than the uh, other brushless motor I got in my arm of granite. I really do so far highly recommend this RC running. And on their ad on Amazon, it says satisfaction 100% guaranteed. I'll tell you right now, just this little bit of running it, I'm completely satisfied with it. I'm glad there's no hesitation at the beginning like the other one. So far, I think this is going to be a great combo for this truck. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below to Amazon where I picked this up at in the description. So if you guys want to go check it out and pick it up, you can go down there and grab it and get one for you. Well, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.